Within ArtCase, users can also create case files. You don't necessarily have to start with a complaint if your business doesn't call for it. Instead, a user can simply click New, and based on the new action, the case file option will be shown. The user clicks on New Case File, and then all the different form parameters will be shown. In this example, you can see there's a General Information tab, an Initiator tab of the person that's actually filing this case, the people or the people associated with the case, any attachments like we typically like to do where you can upload associated documents or participants, meaning internal art case users that will be involved in this case. The user simply has to go through each of the tabs and enter in various information. Some fields are marked as optional and some are marked as required. In this example, we just went ahead and filled in many of the fields. First, we entered in the case title, the case type, and then the description about this specific claim. In this example, since Sally's entering an in, she also wants to highlight this particular claim number so the next user, when the case file is created, can actually see it and know right where to look. Also, the initiator. This is Sally. She's the person that actually phoned in and wants to have an investigation. You can see here we just collected her name, her cell phone, and her address, which was her home address. She didn't have any witnesses or any associated people that are involved. She didn't have any paperwork, so we wouldn't fill in any attachments. But what we did do is go ahead and enter in the participants because these are required fields, at least the owner. The owner is the person that's going to work this case. In this case, Sally's going to go ahead and work it. We're going to mark her supervisor. In this case, Anne is the person that's going to follow along. Once she goes ahead and hits submit, the case file is going to be created. We'll show you that as the system goes and creates it. After the user hits submit, the case file is created with all the pertinent information that was just entered. For the user to be able to see that case file, first let's go ahead and sort by the most recent ones. Now what you can see, this is the one that we just created. I can see various details like we've shown in other videos where you see the details. Notice the highlight that we did, the people, in this case it was Sally Smith, and also documents associated with it. This case file, for instance, is that form that we had actually collected all the information. The reason why this is important is if Sally calls back in and wants to get information about her claim, or her case, she can do so and we create a PDF file for it. As with all the other options in our case, everything is done with one quick click. And here you can see the case file was done quickly as well. 